All right, it's been a while since I've done a Power Apps video, but I ran into an issue with an app that I'm working on for one of our departments um, relating to images being available in mobile apps. So I thought I'd make a quick, quick video since I, a while ago I'd found a, uh, what I thought was a fairly unique workaround to this limitation. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about, some prerequisites for this. Uh, Basically, the images that you want to just want to display in your Power App need to be stored in a SharePoint online document library. Now, I'm not saying they absolutely have to, but that's what I'm going to be showing because that's what I have access to and that's what I know. Uh, if you're storing images in other locations, uh, Azure Storage Blob or SQL or, or Dataverse, I can't speak to those. I'm working on learning Dataverse, so maybe I'll find a way to do this with Dataverse, if it is even an issue with Dataverse in the future. Um, but again, most of the, the clients I work with and departments I work with are using SharePoint for their data storage, so it's a natural fit. And also what we're going to leverage is actually a specific property of the image in a SharePoint document library. So at least in that respect, this is is SharePoint specific. Um, now the other requirement here is assuming the image you want to show in your app is related to an item in a list. So uh, I'm going to show the example of the uh, desk booking or desk reservation app that was developed by April Dunham. That's actually the app that I deployed to a couple departments here and the one that I was where I employed this this workaround. Um, so if the image is related to a list item, in this case we have a document library called desk images and we have a list of desks, you need a way to link those. Uh, so in my case I used a lookup column in that document library linking to the specific desk item. That just gives us a way in the app to find uh, a lookup of the actual image that is associated with that particular list item. That'll make more sense when we get into the app and I show you kind of how the formulas are set up. So that is kind of our background and our So basically this is the list, the desks list. So you'll see here that there is a column here. And this is the way that uh, the app template was created and set up by, um, by April. And to give her full credit, this is, you know, so far has been an amazing app for the folks who are using it. I've just found a couple of things that, that didn't work, but or actually didn't work for our particular um users requirements that we've tweaked uh, but by and large what she developed works very well in 90 percent of the the cases that you'll run into uh, but the way this was set up is that there is a uh, in the desks list there is a column called map link which is needs to be a link to an image and in this case we're storing the images in sharepoint because it makes sense and i simply put those into a document library called desk images and to get the link, so to get the link for 401, I simply click the three dots here, copy link, copied that, and went over to the desk list, found 401, and pasted that in as the map link. And that works, as long as you're using a desktop browser to open the app. Uh, and the main reason this came to my attention was that we have... Um, one of these departments is using the app exclusively through a channel in their team. And for some of the people, the images weren't showing up. For some of them, they were. And I couldn't figure out why. But I know when I employed this workaround, it worked for everyone. So just to show you an example of kind of, the, of what I ended up doing, actually, the, uh, if I go over to the desk images, here's the uh, lookup. This desk item column is a lookup back to that list. So that's how I'm able to link. This is the, um, you know, this image is linked to this item in that desks list. Now it does require then that the, in because what we're going to actually match on is the value of this to keep it delegable. 
uh, in Power Apps. So what we need is to make sure that this desks list, the title column, does require unique values. In other words, if there were two items here named cubicle 407 with the exact same title, then it may return the wrong image if I have two images that are linked to that cubicle. All right, so I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm just going to show you this. Now, this isn't the desk booking app, but this is an app that I built out just to demonstrate the concepts here. So this is a drop down or a combo box rather that lets me select a desk. And I'll just grab 401. And when I do that, you'll see here is that map link URL. And on the right hand side here, this is a thumbnail. So when you upload an image into a SharePoint document library, it generates by default um, thumbnails, three of them in th sizes, small, medium, and large. Um, and those have varying resolutions as you would expect for three different size images. So this is the large thumbnail. If I just change it to maybe small, you'll see that it's blurry because it's meant to be shown in a much smaller resolution. Uh, anytime you have a small resolution image blown up, it gets blurry. So if I go to medium, it's a little clearer. And then large is maybe not exactly as clear as the actual image itself, um, but it's close enough. So to show you kind of how we surface that, uh, this is the back end of this of that application. So basically this is my drop down, and it's just getting items from desks. And the map link URL is simply showing me um, when I select here, so if I preview this and select 409, then I'm setting a, on change, this sets a variable uh, called var selected desk. And then this is showing me the map link image for that desk. And this is showing me the thumbnail. Now, the secret sauce of this is that if I click on this image, Now I'm doing something kind of fancy here because I'm also using this drop down to show the three different sizes of images. If you knew that you only wanted the large size thumbnail, this would be simpler uh, because you wouldn't need this switch. So basically what I'm saying is switch based on the value of that drop down. If it's small, then you want to look up in the desk images library for the item where the desk item dot value that is the title that's shown in that lookup column is equal to the title of the selected desk um, and then after that you need a dot thumbnail dot small medium large whatever size it is you want so if i only wanted the large then i could basically just eliminate this entire switch so if i were to just you know comment all that out and simply copy and paste that, then there we go. It's always going to give me that large image. Uh, and as I said, if you, if I really, if I blow this up, maybe we can see there, I'm just looking at the, the numbers, the 409, because that's sort of the and maybe there's just a tiniest bit of blur on this side because it is not the you know, full resolution image. It's actually a thumbnail. But still, it's better than the small version, and it's better than uh, not being able to see it at all, which is the problem that you run into with mobile apps. So what I'm going to do is pause the video here, connect my phone so I can show you this app in mobile so that you can see that this map link URL or the, the image URL doesn't work when you're using Power Apps on a mobile device, whereas the thumbnail does. So hang tight and we'll be back to that in a second. Okay, so I'm just waiting now for the app to finish opening on my mobile device. Um, here we go. Let me just see if I can make the Okay. I guess I need to update my...
subscription. All right, let's try that again. So if I select a desk, and apologize for the blurriness, I just haven't uh, apparently my license is still showing the, uh, or still not showing that I have the pro version of this app. So the blurriness is going to be a little hard to show. But again, this is the small, barely recognizable. If I go to the large, then it is significantly better. And just understand that the this blockiness blurriness is not because of power apps. It's because of the screen mirroring software I'm using. Um, but again, you'll see that the map link URL, so in other words, when you're using a mobile app uh, or the, the Power Apps mobile app to view an app that uses a an image that's shown using the URL of the image, at least from SharePoint, it simply doesn't work. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't work, it, but it doesn't. Uh, however, the thumbnail property does work. And if I actually hover over, I can't really hover on the uh, mobile device, but if I show in the, the app here, if I hover over this, you'll see that is the actual thumbnail uh, URL. So it's pulling it from the data center somehow. Again, I don't know the magic behind that. I just know that those thumbnail columns, uh, the thumbnail property is automatically set by SharePoint for um, any image that is loaded into a SharePoint document library. All right, so again, how would you apply this? If I jump back over to, just open up the Power Apps app and let me open the This is the actual de instance of the desk booking app where I implemented this change just to show you how I did it. Um, all right, so in this app, essentially when someone wants to book, an, book a desk, they select the time, they hit continue, and then if they want to see where that desk is, what it looks like there, this is where the images are surfaced. So this, when you click that, it opens the image here. Uh, so if I exit out of here and I look at this image, we'll see that it is doing a lookup to desk images where the desk item value is gallery of L desk dot selected dot title. Uh, and again, I'm grabbing the large thumbnail. So this will work. Uh, previously it was just using gallery of ale desk dot selected dot map link. Yes, that's a simpler formula, but when the image won't work on mobile devices, or in my case, wasn't working for some people in Teams, a different approach is, is necessary. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I will link the um, April Dunham's video on the desk booking app if that's something that you want to, to know about or something you haven't heard of or seen. Um, and if you have any questions, please throw them in the comments below.